This room holds the future of medical consultation. Put your fingers on that and uh, let's just do your cardiogram together here. 52, but uh, ry the rhythm is perfect. The cardiologist is only equipped with a smartphone and a sensor. So the fingers on these sensors make a circuit with his heart, okay? And then that transmits wirelessly. Yeah, there you go. Good. This patient has recently had heart surgery. The doctor places the sensor on the tips of his fingers to determine the oxygen level in his bloodstream. Yeah, so instead of having to go to the hospital for $3,000, that's what it costs, or more, some places it's up to seven thousand yeah. dollars. You would just use your phone. Dr. Eric Topol developed a few phone apps on his own, convinced they're about to revolutionize medicine itself. And every doctor should learn this is the true stethoscope. And what we use today, which I I don't know why I carry it anymore, this is a stethophone. It's worthless. I'll tell her when I get back. He admits it. He prescribes more smartphone apps than drugs. Therefore he can easily follow his patients from a distance. For patients like Bill Souza, who lives more than an hour away from the hospital, the digital tablet allows him to check his blood pressure twice a day. Too high. Automatically emails it to uh, my doctor on a weekly basis. So that's all I have to do. This device is cheap in comparison to the expensive cost of medical treatment in the U.S. In San Diego, this company wants to save time and money and offer patients a better service. They have developed a new piece of technology. In the future, you might be hooked up to this small device. It's already being tested in a few hospitals. It's able to show all of the vital signs of this patient as heart rate, blood pressure, breathing rate, saturation of oxygen and skin temperature. And your doctor will be able to follow up in real time via your phone, even if you're on the other side of the world. Now they get that information immediately so they can make very quick decisions. Now eventually, we of course, as other companies may do, is be able to take that information and be able to start to predict the patient's deterioration ahead of time. The goal of the manufacturers is to predict someone's medical future. Yes. Dr. Topol believes that soon we'll be able to detect diseases with sensors placed on or under our skin. Um, causing? Someday, maybe five years from now, we will have tiny nano sensors in the blood. They could detect cancer showing up for the first time in the blood. To be able to diagnose and anticipate. What if in the future those devices could replace doctors? Imagine your son has a rash. A small device identifies it, says it's benign, and advises some rest. And an unnecessary doctor's visit. Rest at home, it's okay. What if you had a way to. Or your daughter doesn't feel well. A sensor takes her body temperature and analyzes a urine sample. This time, the app recommends a visit to the hospital as soon as possible and directs you to the nearest one. And in serious cases, you would know when and where to seek help. Science fiction? No, this project will become a reality very soon. This is both fascinating and scary. Our health won't be a mystery anymore. We'll soon be able to unveil all its secrets.